had me for a minute there. Aegis? Rob! Okay, Rob. Yeah, this place Rob sometimes. We are seeing Rob and Min Min. Three, two, one, go! Fish it. Yep, trans pride Min Min. And not trans pride Rob. Excellent. And here we go into game one on this one. We're going to see if that classic range of Min Min is able to keep Gray at bay. It's a very difficult thing to do. And let's see. Ooh, that was a very dangerous spot there. I think there could have been a possibility of comboing that even further off the stage. Not sure. I have to ask Baskin on that one. Which I'm sure Gray did to learn in the first place. But, ooh, dangerous. That was a very nice job of getting back on stage. He may have very well been out of floor on that one. Getting just constantly edge guarded away by Min Min, which is one of the specialties of the character. You gotta make sure to be able to uh, not exactly conserve, it's not like a rock and roll when you don't run out of uh, all that fuel on recovery or a bad thing. Very obviously going to happen. I mean, Rob, that was a nice back air right there. Take the first stock in Gray's favor. And a ooh, hi. That was a very nice way to get back on stage. He's really not too concerned about some of that Min Min pressure exerted off stage. He, Rob does have a lot of tools at his disposal, but he seems to have this one down on lock, or at least for the time being. I'm sure adjustments will be made eventually, but for the time being, those adjustments are going in Gray's favor. Not on that one, though. Gets caught by the second arm. That, I believe, in F Smash will t even up the stocks here. Percentage is very close together as well. Good job at not falling too far behind here on that one. back and forth center stage gyro coming in handy here it's a raw classic not easy not easy to use though i'll tell you that much I, I tried to learn the character and there's a reason why i do not play rob that gyro one of your best tools but so much physics behind how it actually works and how you set it up so all props to gray on that one for learn, putting in the time to learn how that character works or maybe it just came naturally to him i don't know it seems like something i would do Right now, keeping Min Min at bay. Not often you see Min Min being the one outranged. You wouldn't typically think of Rob as a range-based character, but he's got just so many tools at his disposal. Keeping himself in when he needs to be and far enough away when it's convenient. And right now, it is proving mighty inconvenient for Mr. Melvin and Min Min. High percentage on this one. Gray still has yet to convert that stock, and as long as he has not done so, any extra damage, I think, on him would be a benefit to Wolverine. I'm 160. Oh, yeah, you gotta kill the thing. You cannot afford to fall too much. Arm swatting away the gyro, though. That is one thing you got at your disposal. See if you can do that consistently enough to negate damage of that. Very annoying. Back throw, big damage. He's got him at 115 now, technically within a possible kill range, depending on the arm. I'd imagine Megawatt for sure. Barrow spinning away at ledge. I chip him again. He's gonna die. Wow, I don't know if he couldn't get back up or if he just chose not to. But either way, one stock up now. Okay, and he wants to put this one away. Now he's really using the drought as a man. Arms can't swat him away, which is off stage. Nice job once again getting around that ram ram. Dangerous spot up high, but they both make it back down again and caught by the arm again. We are even on stocks. Last stock here, game one. Grading blows, and there, there's a back throw. You see, ooh, he w went off stage that time, not just going for a simple ram ram option, but third off it. Got tapped in the middle of it. 9 no, Ray is definitely looking for some kind of Rob setup that can allow him to just take this one away in one fell swoop. Rob is very good at stuff like that. But he has not found one just yet. A little more damage, and he can probably get into a down throw kill scenario. Definitely. Oh my goodness, that caught him. That is a crazy hitbox. 
somehow or another, that back air from Dre hits him under while holding on to ledge, and that will take game one in Gray's favor. Here come the bands. And it looks like we're going to Smashville on this one. We'll see how those platforms will pull, come into play here. What do we think in chat? Almost a good set. <laughs> Alrighty, we head into game two now. Same characters, different, different stage? I don't even remember. That's on me. I think different stage. I don't know. Ooh, he once again was looking for one of those infinite rob combos, just couldn't quite convert off it. Mario keeping him at bay with the arms for the time being. Nice shield on that Nair. Just trying to keep Gray far enough at a distance to keep badgering him, hammering him with all kinds of arms. Ooh, nice reflection on that one too. Forgot that up smash can reflect. Oh yeah, I think he's holding on to the gyro. Keep that in mind if he is. Can't tell, maybe not. Yeah, it may have faded. High damage on Gray here. Far cry from the earlier game. However, this is Rob that we were talking about and just about anything here can happen. And ooh, not gonna make it back on that one. One stock up here is Mr. Melvin and his Min Min. Gray, I think, getting a little frustrated trying to get in this match so far. Mario's had, Melvin has had a lot of those options covered. However, we're going to see if he continues to try to opt to get in once again, or if he will go back to that ranged approach from last game. However, uh, he, we have been seeing a great job of that gyro getting deflected away. From, and without that tool in his disposal, uh, some of his ranged options go away. So I'm really curious to see how Gray's going to adapt to both of his options thus far getting stuffed. Got him down throw, up smash. Oh, up tilt. Okay. Maybe not high enough percent for the up smash kill. I don't know the exact percentages on that one. That's on me. We're seeing about a full stock differential between these two, and ooh, it's a two stock differential now. Gray's going to have to start climbing if he wants to get back into this one. He's finding great difficulty trying to get in on this Min Min. Which I would say is what Min Min is built for, but this is just so completely different than what we were seeing in that first game. Great adjustments being made thus far. Again, knocked away at ledge. He finally gets in for a dash attack. Up air, that'll be one stock for him. One opening found by Unk Defender. Let's see if he can find a few more. Nope, not a chance on that one. Megawatt puts an end to game two. We are even at one game apiece. Let's see what changes and adjustments are made for game three. Oh, why does Mario look like a Melvin? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see what they're looking for here. Oh, Norfair would be a crazy... PS1 would be an insane counter pick. I often walk up to sets and go PS1, and people go, oh, okay, wait. Take, you know, a half second before, like, hang on a minute, that's not one of the legal stages. But all right, we're seeing the, uh, an actually legal stage coming out here. Let's see what the music counter pick is. We're seeing something from the Fatal Fury series. Fascinating decision on that. Working Matador. Interesting musical counter pick there. Let's see how it factors into this matchup. Game three. Here seeing. Oh, that's a zero suit switch, I do believe. Gray not wanting to get out too early. 
Redskins, Zero Suit Samus, we're on battlefield. It's game three. We're in winner's quarter, so I do believe we're still in the best of three range. 90% sure on that one. I can never quite remember. I think it's winner's semi, so that's that being best of five. Either way, we're going to see a much quicker pace of gameplay. I think Gray was really struggling to get in for a lot of last game, but if you want one character that's good at getting in, one really slippery character, that's CSS. And that's what he's been sitting on the whole time. Nice flip kick combo there. Good amount of damage. Answered right back though by that dragon arm with the extra laser. That's big damage. I know Megawatt's to be the good damage dealer, but you can hit by both the dragon arm and the laser afterward. That's quite a bit. You know. Still though, percentages not too far away from each other. Megawatt arm coming out though. We're gonna see. I'm gonna go for the kill with that one. However, it's a very difficult move to hit. It's such a slow-moving move, very hard to land on someone like Grace. So we are seeing him switch to Arnold back to Megawatt. I think it's more in neutral that he's opting for that one. Dancing around each other mid-stage, who's going to land the bigger blow here? Grace got him off stage. Back on, back. On stage again, what I meant to say. High percentage on Gray. 146 is kind of crazy. He got knocked all the way back to the other side of stage just by a random stray arm interaction. At that high effort percent on ZSS, I'm not even surprised. Gray's gonna have to make sure he doesn't fall too far behind on this one. I think he's aware of that though. He's got min minute 121, looking for something off stage to possibly put him away. Nothing just yet. Between the paralyzing bull caught him. Forward air, not really a killing option though. Unfortunately, not too many options from where he was at based on his uh, Milvin's position off stage. You know, alas, take a little bit longer to find that first kill. Not too much time that he can really afford to waste. Side B, that'll do it. Finally, top right corner. Docks even, percentages not too far. Seeing that Ram Ram be a little bit difficult to work around, cover such a wide angle. Guess that's gonna have to find a way over it, imagine. Gray finds him right there. He's getting a great deal off this combo. 33, not bad. Getting jabbed more than I would have reason expected, to be honest. Alright, flip kick. That's a great combo right there. But once again, damage still pretty even here. Two trading back and forth for the most part in their neutral game. I can hear the controller clacks from here. You can tell these two are absolutely locked in here. Offstage shenanigans continuing once more. Pointing the down smash paralyzing bolt there. Not the second one though. He gets hit by that up B. That's a stock. Ray is suddenly taking the lead for, I think, the first time this game. And he's going to want to put this set away right now. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. Ooh, just barely going to live that one. He's on a pretty high percentage, though. Going to have to be a little cautious. No, well, not necessarily. You just need to get as much percentage off as you can with this stock that you've got. The extra one that you have up. Right now, 33. It's not terrible, but I know Gray wants more. Oh, that flip kick's gonna spike, and that's just gonna end the game. Who needs percent when you can take that stock? Punk Defender 45. Gray is taking this one too long.